All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to change your personal settings that control what media Discord tries to filter out. Basically, how to disable the Discord safe search function. So if you go down to the lower left-hand corner of your Discord window, where your username is, you can click the little gear, that's your user settings, and here under content and social is the sensitive media content filter for Discord. And there's basically three sections here, and then there's technically like another whole section just for direct message spam. So I'll go over this whole tab while we're here, um, but mostly focused on the content tab. So what this is going to do is it's going to filter mature, sensitive content, gore, uh, porn, things of that nature, drug use, guns. Uh, and so it'll say like, do you want to filter out direct messages from your friends? You can show them, you can blur the images or you can block them. Do you want to, you know, censor direct messages from people not on your friends list? In this case, you can show them, you can blur them, or you can block them. And then you can also uh, blur or actually you can't block them anymore. That was an experimental feature, but you can show or blur mature images that are in the different channels on the servers that you join. And really all the blur is, is it's like a, a what's the word, a spoiler warning, where you can click it to show image if you feel brave enough to view it when you want to otherwise filter them. Now, this isn't necessarily um, a bad thing. If you use Discord at work and you don't want anyone to catch a sneak peek of the Not Safe for Work channel while you're working, if you accidentally click it or whatever, this is great for that. No one will accuse you of looking at Not Safe for Work stuff at work. Um, usually this stuff's on by default for new accounts, so if it is and you want to disable it, that's how you do it. So direct message spam is a little different. Um, this basically just checks to see if the message somebody is sending you is a spam message. This can be something that like your friends spamming you the same copy and pasted sentence over and over again to get your attention. Uh, it can be people who are known scammers trying to send you spam messages that are like flagged for that looks suspicious uh, and so on and so forth. You can filter all direct messages. You can filter just from non-friends, or you can do like I do and don't filter them at all. Uh, I turned this off initially because a lot of stuff, when this was new, was getting caught in the filter. It's not as bad nowadays, but it can be handy to cut down on some of the spam messages from bots, although Discord has been pretty good about uh, can, trying to reduce those. Uh, you can say down here, allow access to age-restricted commands from apps in direct messages. This setting applies to all apps, allows people 18 plus to access commands marked as age-restricted. So, do you want to use age-restricted stuff? Yes, no. Allow access to age-restricted servers on iOS. I don't have an iOS device, so I this is pointless, but if you're on iOS, and you want access to servers with a not safe for work channel that's literally labeled not safe for work, then you'll have to toggle this in order to visit there. And then down here, social permissions. Uh, this is, I just have this filtered for all servers, although you can change this based upon whatever you're in for servers. Uh, you, can, you can blanket disable direct messages from people on the server. So normally there's only two ways that someone can message you. They're your friend or they share a server with you. If you go out into the wide world and you right click, say, um, the Thorns Monster Castle and right click it, you can change the settings in here so that people who are on this server cannot specifically send you messages. So if I go to privacy settings, I can disable them here as well where I don't want anyone from that from Thorn server to send me direct messages or to send me message requests. And then I also don't uh, want to show my activity status there, and I, I don't want to show activity joining. I don't want people in this activity to join what I'm doing. So I can change all that directly per server, or 
you can just do them blanket through your user settings like I was about to do. So you can change if random people can message you. You can change if they can request to message you, because if they can't message you, they can request to send you a message, and you can choose to ignore it. You can say if you want to accept re friend requests from anyone, friends of friends, or server members. And then down here at the bottom is a list of the people that you've blocked on Discord. This way, if you think you've blocked them by mistake, you can go in here and you can click unblock and you can talk to them again and they can talk to you. Otherwise, their messages will be hidden and you won't be able to send them direct messages without like a little thing that says, you can't do that. So anyway, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been the entirety of the content filtering for Discord. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.